Hello there and welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Today we are still in the chapter of motivation and specifically about motivation theories part 3. A bit of a recap as always in the chapter of motivation. The definition is basically to understand what motivates people, what pushes people to do certain things to achieve a particular goal. And the theories are important to help understand what are those factors. Okay, all right. Let's take a list or take a look at our list of researchers. Taylor, Mayo, Maslow, Herzberg, McClellan and Vroom. Okay, what we have covered so far is Taylor Mayo as well as Maslow in part two. Today we will look at Frederick Herzberg, part three. Okay, now uh, let's talk about Frederick Herzberg who developed this two factor theory. Okay, basically, he researched on factors that caused employees to have positive feelings about their jobs and those factors that caused them to feel dissatisfied or neg having negative feelings. Okay, and this two factor theory is basically called either the motivators, right, which is the factors that cause them to feel happy if it were there right and the hygiene factors basically factors that would cause employees to feel dissatisfied with their jobs okay so there you go on the screen motivators factors of satisfaction and hygiene factors factors of dissatisfaction so before we start uh, let's look at the motivators okay what are the factors that causes people to be happy at work all right all right according to Herzberg employees say if there was a sense of achievement in the particular job that they do that would cause them to feel happy in terms of being recognized is another factor to look at that makes them feel happy having positive feelings all right the work that they're doing is enriching interesting all right this also creates a positive feeling about their job all right responsibility more responsibilities given showing the trust that they can carry out and do more things that makes them happy as well as an advancement opportunity if they see that there's a career path in that organization that gives them positive feelings about their job okay so as you can see there are five factors here that causes employees that may cause employees to feel positive feel happy about their job okay now, let's look at the hygiene factors, the factors that causes dissatisfaction. Okay. Now, employees say company policies are one of those reasons that makes them feel a little bit unhappy, perhaps through very strict, stringent policies, right? Uh, on the other hand, salary is also a, a factor, uh, too low or underpaid. This may affect how they feel. Okay. Um, the supervision that is uh, put upon them, either too strict micromanaging, these are factors that makes them feel unhappy. Relationship with others, the working environment, the, um, the communication level, the trust within the organization, right? This also evokes uh, some level of dissatisfaction, of course, if the relationship is bad and working conditions all right the whole office environment the you know uh, the health and safety uh, procedures and securities that the company provides okay this also evokes feelings of dissatisfaction okay so coming back to both of them together the motivators which uh, evidently or through the research says that with these five factors it would help create positive feelings and on the hygiene portion the other five factors would cause people to be unhappy so Herzberg's theory talks about feelings all right of how they would feel if certain things were in place okay it does not necessarily evoke motivation all right, which means having good company policies, one that is fair and just or being paid very well in an organization may not necessarily lead to someone being a high achiever. All right, who suddenly finds that their job is, you know, so rewarding or so interesting. 
Okay, so there is no specific correlation between the two according to Herzberg's uh, research. But by themselves, all right, if one is improved tremendously, the motivators, where we talk about all the factors concerning the job themselves is improved, this, was, this would evoke even more positive feelings, all right, which means they may become more satisfied with the job. Okay, but at the same time, with the factors of dissatisfaction being uh, better or improved or, or, or you know supervision or micromanaging is removed for example okay this also would help employee to be okay about the job okay but it doesn't mean that they will suddenly be all positive about the job but it just means that this this certain things that are no, no longer there used to annoy them perhaps but now it's no longer annoying so they can perhaps somewhat live with it okay so these are all about feelings and emotions that to to help employees um, get through work you know with that positive feeling all right and to reduce those negative ones that's why we talk about motivators and hygiene factors okay now in the next slide we'll look at some examples okay Okay, now on the screen, as you will see, uh, we will do a bit of a, an exercise and we'll start talking about hygiene factors or factors of dissatisfaction. And as we have covered earlier, there are company policies, supervision, salary, working conditions, and relationship with others. Okay, on your right hand side and on your left, you see the descriptions to all those factors of dissatisfaction, but it is in a jumbled up manner. All right. So your uh, homework, not homework, your, your, your part now is to match the correct description to the correct factor. Okay, let's talk about it shortly. I'll give you some time for you to do the matching before we move on to the next slide. Okay, let's look at your answers right now. Before we start, let's look at all the um, factors of dissatisfaction and what they are. Company policies, supervision, salary, working conditions, and relationship with others, right? Now, the reason why we're starting with the factors of dissatisfaction or the hygiene factors, right? As we've spoken about before, the hygiene factors by themselves does not evoke positive feelings almost immediately or immediately for that matter, right? The removal or, you know, to, to, to remove the factors of dissatisfaction would mean to remove the negative feelings or to remove the dissatisfaction. But one may not necessarily be happy about it, right? But that level of annoyance or that, that unhappy feeling that they have, all right, may no longer be there. It's something that they can tolerate or it's something that they can, you know, accept, okay? And, and that's the reason why we want to speak about factors of dissatisfaction first, uh, because it helps, it surrounds the job itself, okay? The factors that surrounds the job that has no, no direct correlation to how one feels about the job, but these factors, if it were improved, it removes dissatisfaction and, and that, that would help overall, okay? Now, in terms of company policies, what businesses can do is to improve their company policies so it doesn't sound so strict sounding, you know, and realistic policies, one that is fair and just. This would help, you know, to uh, remove the factors of uh, dissatisfaction. Supervision, provide effective, supportive, non-intrusive supervision. Salary, 
ensure competitive wages are paid okay working conditions equipment health working uh, you know environment fit for purpose health and safety should be a top concern relationship with others encourage open communication to build better relationship and trust okay so these are the factors if it was you know improved in a way where policies are less stringent and more realistic and fair and just supervision is not really there anymore while there is for certain cases depending on the individuals but generally for employees who are capable and can deliver you know who do not need to be micromanaged well for them if supervision is removed this would help remove that negative feeling they have about the job, all right, about, about the company, about the environment, okay? The same goes with salary. Being paid, you know, according to what they are able to do and deliver, remove that dissatisfaction about that they have about the job, okay? They would feel that, okay, this is something that I'm now satisfied, so to speak, okay? But it does not dis directly mean that they would suddenly want to be motivated to be an achiever at work, right? It could be just something that caused them to be dissatisfied and that's about it. Having it makes them feel okay, all right? Not necessarily happy, but they're no longer dissatisfied, okay? The same goes with the other uh, explanation on the working conditions and relationship with others. So these are the five factors and now we'll move on to talk about the motivators which are the factors that affects the job itself that surrounds that is part of the job itself that causes employees to be happy if it were there, okay? Now the Motivators or factors of satisfaction are achievement, work, recognition, responsibility, and advancement. Again, we have the descriptions for all these five factors of satisfaction, but in a jumbled up manner for you to sort them out, which we will discuss the answers in the next slide. Okay, now, I hope you have managed to finish it within time. Let's look at the answer for achievement, all right? It's good for companies to provide opportunities or platforms for employees to achieve more, maybe setting higher goals, all right, for them to be able to achieve it. And that, that would make them a little bit positive about their job, yeah? In terms of work, design jobs that is suited to the skills and abilities of the employees so that they're able to, you know, uh, work better, understanding what they need to do, right? In terms of recognition, recognize employees' work and effort by rewarding them, whether it's monetary or non-monetary methods, right? Give them a sense of recognition. It could be just a certificate, all right, or it could be a gift card, a gift voucher for that matter, recognizing someone, whether it is a verbal recognition, monetary, non-monetary, this would help, okay? In terms of responsibility, delegate more responsibilities to those who can deliver and want to do more. This makes them feel a bit happy that they are being, you know, empowered to carry on more tasks. An advancement, if there is a career path shown to the employees on what's next for them, what can be done, right, of their sense of uh, the, the potential of a promotion, advancement opportunities, this would help someone to be happy, all right? They would have, they know what's ahead of them and they would be happy about it, okay? So these are the five factors of satisfaction. We call them motivators because they would help evoke positive feelings if it were there. And these factors surrounds the job itself. So creating an enriching job, right? Providing recognition for employees for a job well done, giving them more responsibilities on the job, showing them that they are able to be advanced or move on to the next part because of the fulfilling a particular job, right? And giving them a sense of achievement. This helps them feel very positive about 
the job that they are in, all right? And this may relate to, in the long run, a sense of motivation, all right? But for the time being, we're trying to evoke positive feelings, and these are the factors that would cause positive feelings about the job itself. Okay, this is a, ch a slide where we come to an almost end of our lesson, okay? So I hope that you were able to understand, all right, and you would be able to explain the works of Herzberg, all right, what the motivators mean and what the hygiene factors mean, right? And you know the main ideas behind this theory to create positive feelings and negative feelings, not not create negative feelings, but to ensure that negative feelings are removed on a particular job. And it concerns the job itself or as well as the surrounding factors of the job. Okay. Okay, so we have come to the end of our lesson. As usual, my email address is on the slide for you to reach out to me for any questions or concerns. I hope you're able to pick up a thing or two from today's lesson. The next chapter will be about, sorry, the next video will be about McClellan and Vroom, all right, in one particular video. That will close up the chapter of motivation before we move on to human resource management, okay? So... Yeah, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe and do share with your friends. If you have anything else um, to, to check on, do send me an email if you have questions that you need help on. All right. Thank you so much for now. Have a great day ahead.